going to do my best to stay uh, within the four drinks I'm getting for free and my $50 credit. Excuse me, it's been a long day. And to see how long that stretches, I, I really want to do a comparison between um, either getting a drink package and just uh, going with my status, uh, my Crown and Anchor status, and the free drinks that affords, as well as uh, the, the cash credit I have uh, on file. So, in this particular cruise, I have a $50 credit plus my free drinks every day. We'll see how far that stretches. When I was on Symphony last week, uh, I did get the drink package. I ended up paying about um, $45 a day because I bought it very early on. Actually, at the day of embarkation, that price jumped up to $92 a night. Obviously, I didn't have to pay that because I had already locked in on $42. So I, I got a pretty good price on, on the uh, drink package. So uh, on average, I had about nine drinks a night uh, uh, when I had the drink package. And I actually um, wasted my, uh, my drink benefit because I had the drink package. Night one on um, Main Dining, and I'm gonna wait for my menu, and I'll get back to you after that. This is the lure of the seas. So a little bit more about what I think about uh, this Main Dining room experience. We usually try to situate a bunch of strangers, right, to fill up tables. They did a great job getting me a two topper, and the one thing that they did. So I really uh, appreciate with these types of dining situations since I'm a solo traveler because they immediately cleared the other place setting. The fact that the moment I sat down, they cleared the other place setting. It really made me feel welcome here on Royal uh, as a solo traveler, a solo diner. So um, big thumbs up one to call that out specifically because that is definitely a characteristic Enjoy. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm ready in your vlog, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. You get the best waiter. You're like, yes, go pizza. Welcome to yeah. other sir. Welcome Thank you. You'll be a superstar. I make a pretty large paper menu. There you go. It's very nice. So for tonight, um, for my starter, I think I'm gonna go with garden salad. Next, I'm gonna go with probably spaghetti. And then for dessert, I think we're just gonna be very simple and do some strawberry ice cream. So as these courses come out, I'll tell you how it goes. Uh, right now, the service has been great. I have no complaints. But this great looking basket of bread. Gotta be careful with the bread though. I've eaten a lot of it. It fills me up. And it doesn't allow me any room for my main course. However, for you all and Michael Hart, I'm gonna partake in at least one. Now, one thing that, that I criticize, the butter is hard as a rock. I usually have these things sit out for a while so they're at least soft. At least it's just a clump of butter that's tough to put on the bread. But other than that, it's the first night. We'll see how the butter clump happens later on. We have the mushroom soup tonight. So tonight is mushroom soup. It's yeah. very good. Yeah. Very tasty, one of my yeah. favorite. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> that would be the prime rib. Since you we have the seafood allergy, right? Uh -huh. That's really my recommendation tonight. The, uh, okay. Or the pork cow. Okay. Okay, good. So, no, no, well, so I, I actually do, though, thank you for those recommendations, but I do 
have some preferences. I think I'm gonna go with the garden salad with um, blue cheese, so much. And I wanna go with the spaghetti. Spaghetti bolognese, very good. Yes. And then, I think I want to do ice cream, but check that in with me because I might be full. And uh, I do want to have wine with dinner, but not not right now. Not right now. Yes. I gotta say, the staff is really friendly. And I'm nitpicking on these smaller things, but I don't want to tell you at all. I will tell you right away that the staff from the maitre d' down to my waiter to my wine person has been really good. Um, been checking in on me and been extremely friendly. And the guy who's dancing in the background, um, he's not even a part of my service staff. He's you know, working in another area. And you know, he just popped in and said hello. So, you know, very friendly. I appreciate that. Hey, looks like the salad's coming in. So I ordered the garden salad. Looks pretty good. Uh, little mix. All right, so let's take that, that first bite. See ya. Take a second. Mmm. Now oh, let's take a look at this spaghetti bowl. It's delicious. Let's see how it. Okay, so we're going for that first twirl. The sauce looks great. It's a big bite. It's not bad. It's not great. Um, we need a little seasoning. Definitely need a little seasoning. That was such an unfair uh, comparison because you know, all of last week I ate at nothing but specialty restaurants. And their standards, this is pepper by the way, you see me putting a lot of pepper on, not a lot of salt. Um, anyway, um, uh, the, the standards are really high in those specialty restaurants. And I, I, I don't know if it's because my palate is, is uh, acclimated to that, but this definitely does not taste as good as um, Jamie's Italian. However, it doesn't taste bad. So I think I'm gonna ask for some more cheese. Thank Anything you. Else, nope, that's it. Thank Not you. Just let me decide to get something. Okay. Yep. No problem. Enjoy. Thank you. Okay, so the cheese is kind of I use all of it because I love to use some cheese on my spaghetti. Or as my youngest used to say when she was very young, my sketty. <laughs> She's 18 now. She hates when I uh, imitate the things she used to say. So sorry, Dara. <laughs> anyway. Um, and it's a good stir. Plenty of pepper with some salt. And the saltiness from this cheese should elevate this taste just right. And I will tell you there is a major improvement. Got my twirl going. Much better. Need a little salt from the cheese. The fattiness of the cheese and the pepper make this pop. This tastes a little tasted a little flat without you know, some simple spices. Add a dose and it's fine. What a pretty good dent into my meal. But let me finish. I'll share what I got going on. how much I have left. As much as I hate wasting food, I also don't want to <clears throat> eat until I explode. I still have to get down some dessert just so I can make sure that um, 
I'm giving a good, fair evaluation of the entire experience. So, yeah, so my uh, my comments about the main dinner is, it, it was good. It was good. I will have to be honest and say that this particular spaghetti dish really didn't hold up to the one I had at Jamie's Italian. Um, that was superb. But, if, you know, if I'm, I'm, I'm judging the two different venues, uh, round one's going to have to go to Specialty Dive. Let's see how the set goes. I thought you guys forgot about me. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see what this looks like. Pretty healthy scoop. Anyway, I have it. Let's take a taste. This is good strawberry ice cream. Big chunks of strawberry. Mm. Very good. Really good. It tastes fresh. First night of dinner is complete. Very happy, very satiated, full. On to day two. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. How are you? Blog, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. You get the best weather. You're like, he has no weeds out. Don't do that to him. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to other sir. Thank you. You'll be a superstar. <laughs> I already, got, I already got you in. You got to come around this way. You saw me dancing? Yes, I did. <laughs> You'll be on my blog. What is your Hi, name? You're, you're blogging. Huh? You can call me Teo. Teo. I'm from Santo Green. Okay, great. <laughs> he is going to be on Travel Like an Ocean. T-L-A-O. So Remember to like and subscribe and click that bell.